gagawin niyo sa bawat pamilya pa within this pandemic, Panginoon. Lord, we thank you sa ginagawa niyo sa bawat isa, Panginoon. We thank you for the miracles and the miracles to come, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, you are grateful, Panginoon.
in Jeremiah 17:14 Heal me O Lord and I shall be healed Save me and I shall be saved for you are my praise Lord according to your word you are our praise Ikaw ang papuri namin ikaw ang parangal namin O Lord God Ikaw ang Dios namin buhay Heavenly Father today we just ask for your healing Father God for your protection. We lift up our families to you, Panginoon. Patuloy mo po kami patakasin. Patuloy mo po kami ingatan. For the members of our family na lumalabas, Lord God, to provide our needs para po sa mga sa members ng family namin, sa head ng family namin, Lord God, for our Father na ginagawa ang lahat to provide everything that we need to our, to our mothers, who always strengthen us, to who, who always encourages us that we can survive in this pandemic. To our brothers and sisters na hindi namin nakakasama, na malalayo, patuloy mo po silang ingatan. May you extend your wings upon them to continue to provide everything that they need. Lord God, that someday after this pandemic, we will reunite, we will always be together in one spirit, in one heart, in one mind. And we pray, Father God, for our nation. Patuloy mo pong ingatan. Patuloy mo pong palakasin at patibayan ang aming bansa. Dahil ang bansang Pilipinas ay pinili mo. Ang Pilipino ay pinili mo at sinala at pinino upang makita ang tunay na halaga ng bansang ito. Ng bawat mamamayan na meron kami. We pray for our frontliners that you continue to guide them, to bless them, to continue to strengthen them as you use them to be an instrument of healing, of unity, of harmony in our nation. Lord, we know our nation is facing a lot of difficulties as of the moment. But we know in your perfect time. We will overcome. Matatapos at matatapos nito ang pandemya nito. We pray for our leaders. 
for our president to continue to strengthen him. We lift him up to you. Lord, alam namin yung bigat ng pinagdadaanan niya bilang kamakama ng bansa Pilipinas ngayon. And we pray to continue to show your ways to him. Continue to show yourself to him. Continue to use him as as an instrument, Lord, that for change ng pagbabago sa bansa Pilipinas. Alam namin, inilukluk mo siya, nilagay mo siya sa posisyon niya dahil siya ang kailangan ng Pilipinas ngayon. To stand up. To rise up to change our nation. To show that we can change. That we can be a, a much better person, an individual in our society. That we must grow closer and deeper kung paano ka nagpapakilala sa kanya, ganun ka rin kung magpakilala sa bawat Pilipino, sa bawat tao sa buong mundo. If we pray for our leaders sa church, our pastors, to continue to strengthen them, give them wisdom, their knowledge, Lord God, continue to anoint them. Patuloy po silang gamitin instrument to encourage us to strengthen our faith, even though hindi ka rin magkakasama physically our spirits, our minds, our hearts, our instinct, our in one, having the same worship, worshiping the living God. Pray for our, our nation, Lord God, for our brothers and sisters na apektado, Lord God, ng pandemya ito, patuloy po sa ingatan, patuloy po sa palakasin, sa mga taong infected ng virus, Lord God, sa mga taong that positive, sa mga taong under of preservation, Lord God, under quarantine, patuloy mo po silang ingatan. May you feel them cast healing upon their lives, Lord God. May you continue to strengthen their faith na patuloy po silang manalig sila that there is always hope. As long as you are there, we know that you are always listening to us. Father, may you forgive our trespasses. At this very moment, wala kami ibang kakapitan kung hindi ka. Ang tanging sa'yo, dapat kami kumapit ng buong puso at mong pagkitiwala. Lord, we know we will overcome dahil lahat ng testings, lahat ng trials for me to live us a lesson and a blessing, Lord God. Cover us with your precious blood. Cover us with your grace, your mercy, your provision, Lord God. You are Jehovah Jireh, a Jehovah Nisi, a Jehovah Shalom, Lord God. Our provider, our prince of peace, Lord God, our healer, Lord God, you are everything that we need, and you will, you will always be the one that we need, Lord God, in our lives. Maraming maraming salamat po, Lord God, for your unconditional love and mercy, and we declare victory over this pandemic, over this virus, over this sickness. We cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cast it out in our nation, in our, in our world, Lord God, in our society. There's no place here, Lord God, for we belong to you, Lord God. Our nation belongs to Christ. Philippines belongs to Christ. We belong to you, Lord God, for we are your children. We are your sons and daughters, Lord God, and we declare that healing, Lord God, will always be upon us. Maraming maraming salamat, O Father God. To you all the honor, all the glory, all the highest praises, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen.
sa mga upalang araw po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid na ito po kami mag-asawa upang uh, magbigay ng maikling uh, exhortation or encouragement tungkol sa pagbibigay ang talata po ay sa unang korinto uh, pangalawang korinto kapitulo 8 hanggang 1 hanggang 7 ganito po sinasabi sa New King James Version moreover, moreover brethren we make known to you the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia that in a great trial of, of affliction the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the, in the riches of their liberality for I bear witness that according to their ability yes and beyond their ability they were freely willing imploring us with much urgency that we would receive the gift and the fellowship of the ministry to the saints and not only as we have hope but they but they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God so we urge we urge Titus that as he had begun so he would also complete this grace in you as well but as you abound in everything in faith in speech in knowledge in all diligence and your love for us see that you abound in this grace also so makikita po natin sa buhay ng Macedonia in spite of hardship yung paghihirap nila doon sa churches of Macedonia ay eh, ganito po ang naging attitude nila uh, mag-focus po tayo sa isang uh, sa, sa third verse sinasabi I bear witness that according to their ability yes and beyond their ability they were fully willing so, so tatlo po ang, ang aking po nakita rito in spite of the hardship and hard uh, uh, paghihirap nila sa buhay po nila doon sa church sa Macedonia sila po ay willing to give ang pangalawa po nakita ko ay they are willing to give beyond their abilities at ito po ang pangatlo na dapat po ay isang attitude ng kristyano because we are saved by grace and we live by grace ito po ang dapat maging attitude sa pagbibigay, no? pagbibigay sa Panginoon ang nararapat po sa tingin ko ay i-exit po natin ang pagbibigay tulad ng, Masedo, ng Macedonian churches ibig sabihin bukod sa ating mga abilidad ibigay po natin yung ating mga kaya sa gawain ng Panginoon and beyond beyond our capabilities tayo po magbigay ng maluwag sa Panginoon dahil po yung nais ng Panginoon ito po yung dapat maging ugali bagamat nakakaranas po ng paghihirap kapo, kap, uh, kap, uh, kapo sa pananalapi sa buhay ang nais ng Diyos ay we should give beyond our abilities beyond our capabilities ang aking pong may bahay ay meron pong she has something to tell good morning mga kapatid I have only a short testimony that God is good really good to us in spite of this lockdown of this pandemic uh, Brother Ori has no work for almost two months. But, tunay ang paggalaw ng Panginoon sa amin dito sa Amerika. Kahit sarado na yung start, yung work nila, ay tunay na ang Panginoon pa rin ang napuprovide sa amin. Dahil, uh, sa two months na yun, uh, binibigyan pa rin sila ng sweldo ng kumpanya. It's a... Uh, it's a grace by God, isn't it? Kahit sarado na, nagbibigay pa rin sila ng sweldo sa mga tao. At uh, tunay na ako rin ay nagpapasalamat dahil sa, sa aking trabaho. God's always protect me every day in my work. Dahil kasi uh, also we are a frontliner dahil sa kami ay, ako ay nagtatrabaho sa grocery. Uh, God always protect my health 
we he he supply all our needs here in America. Tunay na pakabuti ng Panginoon kaya manampalataya lang tayo na siya ang tutugon sa lahat ng ating pangangailangan. Amen. At uh, siya rin ang sasagot sa lahat ng ating pinagpe-pray. Only tunay na sinasabi ang masasabi ko lang na ang susi ng lahat na ito ay panalangin at Amen. magtiwala sa kanyang kabutihan. Amen. Okay, let's declare the declaration of faith na naway uh, makita sa atin sa buhay po natin ang lahat po natin babanggitin. Father, we honor you by putting you first in my finances, giving you my best in tithes and offerings. offerings. I As thank I you that you supply all, all my needs, needs according to your riches and glory, glory by Christ, Christ Jesus and grant the desires of my heart. You, you are, are bringing, bringing me into a wealthy place. place. You are opening, opening the windows of heaven and pouring me out a blessing until it overflows. overflows. I call my house and all my property paid for in full. I believe I receive raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, payable settlements, estates and inheritances, interest income, rebates and return, discounts and dividends, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, lost money found, bills decreased and paid off, blessings and increase. I thank you, Lord, for meeting all my financial needs. So, so that, that I have more, more than enough, enough to give into your kingdom. kingdom. Good, Good health come to us now. Long life come, come to us now. Prosperity come to us now. Yes, Father God, we thank you. We honor you. Yes. We honor you, Lord God, by giving our best, best uh, intention offering, Father God. Tunay, O God, ikaw po aming Jehovah Jireh, who provides. You are our Jehovah Rapa, who heals. Amen. You are the God that uh, here with us. Ni mga ni iwan na pinabayaan Panginoon. Amen. Salamat po sa lahat Panginoon pagkapala ni pinagay mo sa amin. To you all the glory, all the praises, all the thanksgiving in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Everybody say Ngayon po, binabati ko po ang mga uh, mga pastor, nabati ko po ang mga miyembro sa lahat ng dako, lahat ng lugar. Nabati ko po ang magkikiting nating kasama sa coin, magkikiting na intercessors. Mabuhay po kayo lahat at pagpalain po kayo ng Panginoon. Uh, tayo po ay gumaganap sa series o nag nagtatalakay ng series about culture of salvation. At um, noong unang linggo, bin dinala sa atin ni Pastor Eric Kianan about salvation of our body. Pangalawang linggo, dinala po sa atin ni Pastor Asmin Miroy about salvation of the family. Pangatlong linggo, our very own Pastor Edgar Miroy dinala sa atin about salvation of our soul. Ngayon po, we're going to, to talk about salvation of nation. I believe ito po ang talagang uh, focus ng o business agenda ng gobyerno ng Diyos is about saving the nation from Genesis to Revelation <coughs> excuse me so Genesis to Revelation I um, the Bible always speak about government kingdom nation, God's territory so almost the central theme is kung paano ang karyan ng Diyos ay ilalaganap, kung paano magiging colony ng Diyos teritory ng Diyos ang bawat bansa. At uh, yan po ay nangyayari dahil sa cooperation po ng church. Cooperation. CO das operation. Ang church po in a, in a Greek word is ecclesia. At uh, ecclesia is not a religious term. O paano si Jesus is not a religious icon. Jesus is a political man. Jesus is a governmental person. Jesus is kingdom person. In fact, he is a king of kings 
and Lord of Lords. Ganon din po ang Ecclesia. Ecclesia is not a religious term. It's a legal term. It's a pointed term. It's a kingdom term. It's a positional term. Now, nung ako po ay uh, administrator ng isang school, <coughs> excuse me, ay um, nagpapainroll mga parents sa akin. Sinasabi ko lagi sa parents ganito, Mami, tatanggapin po namin ang inyong anak kapag ang kayo po bilang parents ay gumanap ng inyong role sa tahanan bilang parents teacher. Okay? So, sa ganung usapan, pag pumayag sila, pipirma kami sa book journal at araw-araw namin imomonitor. Bakit ko po ina-example ito? Uh, sabihin na natin na ang, ang, ang school ay represent ng kingdom of God, ang parents ay represent ng church, ang uh, child represent the nation. Makapasok ang child sa school kapag ginawa ng parents ang kanyang role, at makakapasok ang nation sa kingdom of God kapag tumayo at ginawa ng church ang kanyang role. So, here's my preposition. Salvation of nations will manifest when church become the church. Salvation of nation will manifest when church become the church. If sabihin po, when church become the church kapag ginawa niya ang kanyang role. And I want to share to you three roles prior to the salvation of nation na medyo na overlook natin. Number one, judge to the nation. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2, saints judge the world. Tayo daw po mga saints will judge the world. Uh, 1 Peter 4.17, for the time will come the judgment must begin at the house of God. For the time will come the judgment will begin at the house of God. Hindi po ibig sabihin na tayo po ang huhusgahan ng Panginoon. Medyo may pagka ang King James Translation. Sabi dyan, judgment must begin at. Yung at na yan, in a Greek word preposition, is apo, meaning away from. Mula rito, palayo. So, it is not the house of God receiving the judgment. It is the house of God dispensing the judgment. We as judge to the nation, we dispense the judgment of God. Sa Young Literals Translation, sabi dito, it is the time of the beginning of the judgment from the house of God. Sa Concordant New Testament says, it is the era for the judgment to begin from the house of God. Sabi sa Empathic Diaglot, because the reason is coming, the season is coming for the judgment to begin from the house of God. So, ang linaw po na time comes, ngayon na po ang kailangan, the judgment to proceed from the house of, of God. So we as judges, we, we need to dispense na yung judgment of the Lord to the nation. Sabi ng Matthew 7 verse 1 and 2, Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. For with what measure you use, it shall be measured to you again. Now, Hindi po ibig sabihin dito sa verse na to, sa Matthew 7, 1 and 2, na sinasaway tayo ng Diyos na humusga. <coughs> Excuse me. Huwag tayo pong humusga. Hindi, hindi po uh, sinasabi ng Panginoong Susyon. Rather, Jesus is showing us how to judge. Parang ang sinasabi, do not judge unless you can judge righteous judgment. Parang sinasabi na, do not judge un- unless you are matured enough to do the judging. Yun po yung sinasabi ng Panginoon. Yung judge dyan sa salita ni Jesus is from the Greek word krino, meaning to discriminate, to exercise discernment, to make decision. Discriminate, exercise discernment, to make decision. To illustrate this, balik po tayo sa school. Kapag nag-start ang pasukan, hindi po muna kami nagpapa-orient ng parents, or yung parents orientation. Nagihintay kami ng two weeks para magpatawag ulit ng parents para sa kanilang orientation. Now, ang ginagawa namin sa two weeks, we, we, we observe, we, we judge, we assess ang, um, ang mga estudyante. Then, after two weeks at katawag ng parents orientation, ang ginagawa namin kanito, una, we discriminate. Hinahati na namin ang section. Pinipili namin ang, ang, uh, sa section na dapat kailangan ng suporta o sa section mga pupils na kailangan ng tulong. Okay? So, we discriminate. Pangalawa, we exercise discernment. Sinasabi namin na, na ang kailangan ng batang ito ay 
tulong sa math. Ang kailangan nito ay tulong sa reading, sa phonics. Or ang kailangan nito ay tongue twister dahil medyo buyoy. <coughs> medyo buyoy. At um, kailangan nito ay personality development. So, dinidesor namin yung mga kailangan ng mga pupils. And lastly, we make decisions. Nasabi namin na kasama sa sa tuition ang tutorial so obligatory na kailangan ipatutor po ang mga anak para makasabay okay? so meaning we do not judge as is parang pipintasan yung kahinaan at uh, kasalanan ng isang tao we judge by this three way we discriminate we exercise the cement to make decision kung paano ginawa namin sa mga pupils we, we discriminate, we exercise the cement and make decision now ano ang serious practical application? So how do we start as judge to the nation? Bilang individual and nations. Una, I believe that everyone should be an initiator of change. Kailangan maging initiator ka ng change and improvement. Sa'yo manggaling. Okay, ikaw ang magsimula. Yung kaibigan kong kristyano, paglipat niya dun sa kanilang cluster sa village, medyo persecuted at um, hindi pinapasin, hindi ginagalang. Ang ginawa niya, nag-initiation and change improvement. Inayos niya yung central aisle, tinanaman niya ng, ng um, puno at uh, magagandang damo. Ano pat naging mini park na laruan ng mga bata. Yung tapos nagluluto siya, um, nagbibigay siya ng, ng ulam pa isa-isa, kahit pa isa-isa sa mga kapitbahay dun sa buong cluster at uh, natuwa sa kanya mga kapitbahay hanggang sa nag-organize din siya ng ng, um, ng New Year's party ng mga bata at uh, nakipag-cooperate sa kanya na magregalo ang lahat ng mga magulang doon sa lahat ng bata okay? at hindi pa doon nang, nangyari, gumanda po yung kanilang cluster, nagkaroon sila ng maayos na gate at naging safe hindi pa rin po doon natigil siya po ay naging lupon ng uh, village na yun. Okay? At ang huli kong balita, binuboto na siya na maging president, homeowners president ng village na yun. So, we can, we can be an, an initiator of change and improvement as judge to the nation. Right? Okay. Uh, bakit ko kailangan gawin niya, Pastor? Bakit kailangan pang... Uh, pwede naman akong nagtatay sa man ako, pwede naman akong umaaten lang. Sabi sa sa Isaiah 6.9 For when thy judgment are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Kapag daw yung judgment ay nasa earth na, yung mga nakatao na nakatira doon ay ma-learn righteousness. Meaning, masasave ang nation. Okay? Number two, ambassador to the nation. Second Corinthians 5.20 sabi yan, we are ambassador for Christ. Ang ambassador po ay appointed ng king. Sabi ng John 15:16, you did not choose me, I choose you, but I appointed you to go. That's the work of an ambassador. An ambassador, wala na sariling interest, seeks the interest of the kingdom, that has seven own agenda, opinion, e- even words. He go to the nation for colonization and proclaim the good news that war is over. Nananalo na si Cristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Now, ang ambassador ay walang sariling interest. <coughs> Excuse me. Kundi interest lang ng kingdom. Wala nang sariling agenda, kundi agenda ng kingdom. Wala nang sariling opinion, kundi opinion na ng kingdom. At wala nang sariling word, kundi ang language ng kingdom. So sa church, minsan nakakalungkot, uh, may, mga ganung, may mga ganito pa tayo, no? may sarili pa tayong interest, may sarili pa tayong agenda, may sarili pa tayong opinion, may sarili pa tayong salita. Pero dapat wala na as ambassador to Christ. Langing ang lingwahe, opinion at agenda natin ay agenda ng kingdom of God. So, in short, the role of the church is to represent the government of God. It's to serve as an ambassador of heaven, to call citizens to the kingdom, and do the administration of His purpose. So, call the citizens to the kingdom. So, katungkulan natin, tawagin, kaya hindi mag-recruit, hindi call them, tawagin them into the kingdom of God, and to administrate of His purpose. Why ambassador is needed? Sa, sa article na nakita ko, Dernis Grewich, former executive director of non-profits food banks 2002-2010 sa Amerika, ito po ang kanyang sinabi. 
ambassador serve as critical link between governments. Siya yung nag-uugnay sa tao at sa Diyos. At sabi dyan, concentrate on specific areas of government including trade. Trade. Ano po yung trade? Yung greatest trade na nangyari sa langit. Yung trade of the cross. Pinagpalit ng Panginoong Isus ang kanyang buhay sa ating kamatayan. Pinagpalit ng Panginoon Isus ang kanyang banalan sa ating kasalanan. Pinagpalit ng Panginoon yung kanyang kagalingan sa ating mga sakit. At, uh, pinagpalit ng Panginoon ang kanyang katagumpayan sa ating mga failures, sa ating mga problems. So that that was the greatest trade that ever happened sa pagitan ng Panginoong Isus. Yun ang mensahe natin bilang ambassador. Now, pangalawa, military involvement. Bilang ambassador, we have um, obligation to do the warfare for the nation, the people. Kailangan manalangin to intercede for them. Okay? And pangatlo, cultural relationships speak about um, speak about ministry of reconciliation. Pagkakasundo. Okay? We, we, we do as missionary work as ambassador. Right? At um, ang iyari po, sabi po dyan na ang ambassador po ay they aren't a decision makers but uh, sila daw po ang consultant to decision makers so in short tayo ay kinukonsulta po ng Diyos okay? tayo ay konsultan sa Diyos kung paano ang, ang nation ay masasave right? so ano po ang serious applica- application bilang ambassador what is a serious application practical application as individual as a church number one as a church we should be ready church we should be ready to obey where the Holy Spirit is sending us hindi po tayo pwedeng mag limit kung hanggang saan lang tayo pwedeng gamitin ng Lord hindi natin pwedeng sabihin sa Lord na Lord um, hanggang dito lang walang ibang bansa wag mo pagtayo ng, ng, uh, ng church sa ibang bansa o sa ibang lugar o sa, sa Mindanao And ito lang, at uh, hindi pwede because Holy Spirit is a director, is a chief ambassador. Okay? So, pangalawa, we should have strategy to connect to specially to key people and government officials. Kailangan nakakonect tayo sa mga key people. Ano itong key people? Kung sa larangan ng medisina, sino ang sikat at sino ang influencer dyan, sino ang boss dyan, sino ang leader dyan. Sa larangan ng education, sino ang, ang educator dyan, sino ang best leader dyan, uh, sino sa government ba sa larangan sa school ka sino ang mga influential diyan na pwedeng mong uh, itap para ma-influensyahan at mapaliwanag ma-share ang kingdom principle ganun din sa gobyerno panalangin ko nga uh, tayo sa COCM connect na din connect ng Lord sa mga mayors na to sa mga government official na ito para po ay um, ma-influensyahan natin sila uh, don't you know na ito pong mga So, theosophical society, itong mga secret society, itong mga communist, itong mga kulto na ito. But hanggang ngayon nag exist pala at, at uh, minsan nag advance talaga sila. It's because in their mind, ang strategy nila is pumunta sa mga influential people, pumunta sa mga government people, leaders, para hawakan yung mga government at key people na ito. O kung di man, nagawin nila ang position. At nagawa nila yon, may advance nila yung kanilang uh, evil agenda. We as church, dapat na ganun yung, yung, yung aggressiveness at mentality natin pagdating sa kingdom of God, pagdating sa ambassador. Because we are ambassador of Christ at uh, kailangan natin itap itong mga leaders na ito. Now, bilang ambassador, hindi naman pagdating mo sa ibang bansa, hindi mo iisa-isayin yung, yung, yung mga mama yan. Okay? that it could be the waste of time at hindi ka maging productive. Ang gagawin ng isang ambassador, doon agad sa elders ng nation, sa leaders ng nation, sa mga key people, pupunta para maging productive siya. And as ambassador, kailangan po natin maging productive sa paghayo, sa paggawa ng missionary work. Okay? Bilang church members, tayo po ay magsisilbing parang intelligent sa ambassadors. O, this we ourselves as ambassador, but we we do our intelligence. Ang sabi na sa pastor, pwede ba makilala mo yung aming boss para masyaran? Pwede ba makilala mo yung aming principal para masyaran? Ganun po ang uh, missionary work. Just as simple as that, we will do the the role of ambassador. Now, ang church na hindi gumaganap sa pagiging ambassador niya 
ay parang tao na nagpapaganda ng kanyang bahay habang ito ay nasusunog. Diyos na hindi gumaganap sa pagiging ambasador niya ay parang tao na nagpapaganda ng kanyang bahay habang ito ay nasusunog. Let the Holy Spirit speak about to us. About that to us. Okay? One is um, judge to the nation, ambassador to the nation, and number three, gatekeeper for the nation. Gatekeeper for the nation. Second Chronicle 23 verse 19 and also station gatekeepers at the gates of the Lord's temple so that no one who was in any way unclean <coughs> might enter. So, 1 John chapter 10 verse 1 to 3 Very, very truly I tell you Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and robber. The one who enters by the gate is a shepherd and the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Gatekeeper. Ang, ang Hebrew ng gatekeeper is shower. It's just like taking a shower. Okay? It means porter or doorkeeper. The one who guards the opening of the temple. In other words, the gatekeeper is the protector of his holy presence. Protector ng presensya ng Panginoon. Okay? Guard of righteousness, a judge, and a warrior priest. Sa Bible, marami example ng gatekeeper. Son of Levi, son of Elishar, son of Korah. Even Job was a gatekeeper. Even Jesus was a gatekeeper. Yung kinabuhin niya yung mga nagtitinda doon sa gate ng temple. Even the parable of ten virgins was inspired ng, ng ministry ng gatekeeper. We keep the fire burning. We keep the holy presence burning with us in individual and in assembly. But ang gusto ko pong makita nating example is sample ni Pinehas o Pinehas. 2 Chronicle chapter 9, verse 20. In earlier times, Pinehas, son of Eleazar, was the official in charge of the gatekeepers and the Lord was with him. So, siya daw po ay gatekeepers. Ano pong ginawa ni Pinehas? Numbers 25, verse 1 to 13. While Israel was staying in Shittim, men, Israelites, began to indulge in sexual immorality with Moabite women who invited them to the sacrifices to their gods. The people ate the sacrificial meal and bowed down before these gods. So Israel yoked themselves to Baal Peor, and the Lord's anger, bur anger burns against them. So, sabi dito, ang mga Israelita daw po ay uh, na-indulge sa sexual immorality, nagkaroon ng ang interracial uh, marriage, at uh, naakay sa pagsamba kay Baal. At nagalit ang Diyos to dahil doon. Verse 4 and 5, sabi ng Lord kay Moses, patayin ang lahat ng leaders. Okay? Nagluluksa na ngayon sa... Nagluluksa, nung panahon yun, ang, ang uh, buong assembly, ang mga Israelita, dahil papatayin ng Lord ang lahat ng leaders. Verse 6, ito po yung matindi. Habang sila ay nagluluksa, then Israelites man brought into the camp a Midianite woman right before the eyes of Moses and the whole assembly of Israel while they were weeping at the entrance of the tent. So may, habang nagluluksa, habang ng langin, may nagdala ng Midianite woman sa tent. Mismong sa harap nila Moses at ng assembly. Verse 7, ito po yung kailangan natin tuhayan. When Pinehas, son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest saw this, he left the assembly, took a spear in his hand, and followed the Israelites into the tent. He drove the spear into both of them, right through the Israelite man, into the woman's stomach. Then plague against Israelites was stopped. Then, but those who died in plague, number 24. Ito si Pinehas, uh, dahil, dahil siya ay gatekeeper, um, protector siya ng, ng presence of the Lord, sinundan niya yung, yung Israelite kasama ng babae, kumuha ng spear at pinatay niya at tinusok niya. Now what sabi dito, then plague against Israelite was stopped. Are you hearing this? We are talking about salvation of nations. Uh, we, we, uh, we want to save the nations by being gatekeeper. Okay? Sabi doon, uh, this time pandemic, tayo po ang susi as church if we stand as a gatekeeper of the Lord. Sabi sa verse 13, so from verse 10, uh, nakip, na, na binless ni ng Lord si Pinehas, nagkaroon ng covenant of peace. At ang sabi ng, ng Lord, because, in verse 13, because he was zealous for the honor of his God. 
zealousness for the honor of God. Zealousness for the for the presence of the Lord. Yung zealous, yung bang masasaktan ka kapag nadedevalue ang presensya ng Lord. Masasaktan ka kapag pagka binabaliwala ang presensya ng Lord. That is the key of being a gatekeeper. And then, that's the power. What happened to the nation uh, depende po sa ating pagtayo bilang gatekeeper. It's either God bless the nation, God save the nation, or God curse the nation, or send the plague, or pandemic to the nation. It's very important we we should we should uh, do our role as a gatekeeper. It's a prophetic prophetic role of the church as a gatekeeper. Ano po ang practical application nito? Una, dapat malino sa atin ang church discipline. Church discipline, dapat alam po natin how to behave, how to render attitude and, behave, and our behavior sa presensya ng Panginoon. In individual and in assembly. Pangalawa, dapat tumahan tayo sa sheep pen by the gate. It means covering and submission. Now, may mga kasyano hindi man nag-over the backward, pero hindi na nagpapakita sa sheep pen by the gate. And still, hindi pa rin siya nagpapasubmit. So, kailangan lahat po tayo dumaan, dumaan sa sheep pen by the gate. Third, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng worship lifestyle. Serious worship lifestyle. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka, hindi ibig sabihin na palakanta ka ng worship song. Maganda yon, But, kailangan you must stand on the word of God as is absolute truth. Sa mundo, wala na absolute truth. There, there will be no black and white in, in the world, but sa Diyos, ito yung pinakatama. Okay? During this pandemic, where there is crisis, there is Christ is. Okay? Kinote ko lang po yan sa akin na dinig. Uh, meaning, we must stand, we must do our roles three roles of church prior to salvation of nation. Judge is a ju Christ is a judge to the nation. Church is a judge to the nation. Church is ambassador to the nation. Church is a gatekeeper of the nation. Salvation of nations will manifest when church become the church. So, three roles na nasa ating kamay, yung kapangyarihan ng Diyos nasa ating kamay to dispense the judgment, to be an ambassador and to the gate to be a gatekeeper and then salvation of nation will manifest. Let's pray. Father, salamat po. Kami po ay baguhin mo uh, bilang judge to the nation, ambassador to the nation, and gatekeeper. Let this Holy Spirit convict us of our righteousness. Let the Holy Spirit change us to be the judge. Get us in a matured giving ambassador for your work, Lord God, and send us whatever you want. And a gatekeeper kung saan, Father, na pinoprotektahan namin ang holy presence mo sa aming kalagitnaan. Tunay nga, O Diyos, ikaw ang kalap, karapat dapat purihin, sambahin, and I release, Father God, your anointing sa bawat mga pastor, sa bawat mga leaders, sa bawat mga miyembro, sa bawat mga pamilya ng crossover church, Father God. Salamat po, Panginoon, ikaw ang Diyos na dakila, ikaw ang Diyos ng langit at lupa, ikaw ang Diyos ng tagapagliktas. Tunay nga, purihin, purihin at luwalhatiin mo ang iyong pangalan sa pangalan ni Kristo Yesus. Ito po ang aming samot na langin. Amen. God bless you po sa inyong lahat. Praise be to our God. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat, Pastor Harry, sa isang powerful message. Truly, the salvation of the nations will manifest when the Church of Jesus Christ, the whole body of Christ, and even His Church, sa crossover. Amen? Locally, when we become the church, okay, doing our role, okay, that as a church, tayo po ay judge to the nation, ambassador to the nations, and gatekeepers of the nations. Amen? Ibig sabihin po, napakalaking bahagi po natin sa plano ng Diyos, sa pagliligtas ng mga bansa. So, let's be remembered by the mission statement that God has given to crossover. Ano po yun? To honor God, to love people, and establish passionate churches that will bring the message of the cross to all nations of the world. Amen? So, tayo po ay crossover, hindi po lang pang Pilipinas, tayo po ay pang buong mundo. Ang message po na daladala -dala natin ay pang buong mundo. Sapagkat yung complete salvation ng Panginoon, yung work niya sa cross, okay, is not just for the Philippines alone, 
but it is also for the whole world. So some of you ay gagamitin ng Panginoon in other parts of the world okay, to establish His kingdom. Hindi po aksidente na kayo ipupunta sa abroad o sa iba't ibang uh, panig ng mundo. Okay? Uh, pupunta ka doon para uh, ang mga nations ng ng mundo, nations of the world ay ma-establish okay, yung salvation ng Panginoon sa mga taong naroon. Okay? So our Lord Jesus Christ did not die for us okay, only to wait for the time that uh, we will go to heaven. He died so that for us bringing heaven to the people of the world. So naghihintay na po ang mga tao sa buong uh, other nations of the world para po uh, gawin yung role po natin as a church. Ano po yun? Judge, ambassador, and gatekeepers okay, ng nations para sa kanilang kaligtasan. Amen. So yung ating pong 714 prayer every night, alam nyo po, is reaching out the nations of the world. As of the moment po, by God's grace, we have 24 countries abroad. We are touching in prayer and in Bible study. Okay? Uh, there are invitations for us no, to go to the U.S. para mag-minister po sa kanila doon. But of course, in God's perfect time, God will do it. Amen. And all glory to the Lord. Kaya uh, mga kapatid, it's really about time for us, mga crossover people, to be awake and be filled with the Holy Spirit. For without the Holy Spirit, we cannot make it, mga kapatid. But sabi ng Bible, when the Holy Spirit will come upon you, you will receive power. Amen. We will become witnesses from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth or the other parts of the world. Amen. So sabi nga last week, we were chosen not just to be saved, but also to serve God and to serve people. Okay? Sabi nga ng Lord kay Abraham, I will bless you so that you will, uh, so that the people of the earth, of the world, will be blessed through you. Papalitan natin yung word na bless. I will save you so that the peoples of the earth will be saved. Yan po ang uh, through you. Okay? Sa pamamagitan po natin as uh, mga Uh, church ng Panginoon. Sige po, tayo pong lahat ay tumayo, okay, uh, para po tumayo po tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon. Mga kapatid, tanggapin po natin o tatanggapin natin ang panalangin ng pagpapala o yung prayer of benediction. Okay, itaas po natin ang ating mga kamay. Ang dalawang kamay po natin. Thank you, Lord. And I will release the prayer of benediction. Okay, sa baw bawat sa po sa atin. Are you ready? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I will release this prayer of benediction. I want to pronounce this benediction of blessing upon you today. I decree and declare that our Father will prosper the works of your hand. May everything you touch turn into a prophetic gold. May your life forever reflect the shimmer of the Father's glory. May your life be blessed with all good things. May joy, peace, prosperity, and success be an abundant As the stars in heaven, may friendship, favor, affluence, influence, happiness, support, beauty, purpose, direction, and abundant living be your constant companion. May you be unconditionally loved, celebrated, revered, appreciated, and honored beyond measure and human comprehension by all. May our Father grant you true, lasting, mutual, beneficial relationships, friendships, association, alliances, partnership, and support. May you make a difference in this world. May you have the courage to make your mark and leave your footprint in the sand of time. May your name and good works be memorialized. May your children fulfill their purpose and maximize their potential. May they have the favor of God and men. May Jesus forever be your Lord and Savior. May you become the head and not the tail. May you forever be the first and not last. May you forever be above only and not beneath. May you be strengthened in the inner man. May you continue to dream big. May you awaken every morning to live the life of your dreams. May you live a humble life of gratitude and thanksgiving, knowing that He who began the good work in you will complete it For faithful is He that He calls you to this realm of victory, and it is He who will do it 
also to you. I speak this benediction of blessings upon your life in the name of Jesus according to Genesis chapter 28 verses 3 and 4. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger which God gave unto Abraham. Amen. As you go to honor God and love people, establishing passionate churches that will bring the message of the cross to all the nations of the world, be cleansed by the blood of the Passover lamb, and be cleansed by the word that he has spoken to us, and now receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit, a new heart and a new spirit be upon us all, that this obedient heart is taken away and an obedient heart is given to us now. A new anointing is given to us now. Amen. The spirit of wisdom and revelation, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Long life will come to your right hand. Riches and honor will come to your left hand. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance on you and give you His shalom peace. Amen and amen. Lord, praise to the Father, praise to the Son, and praise to the Holy Spirit, Elohim. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat, mga kapatid. Okay, tayo po ay na, natapos na naman po sa ating online worship, mga kapatid. Nawa po ay pinagpala tayong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating worship team na ginamit ng Panginoon. Pagpalain po kayo ng Panginoon, mga, mga kapatid, sa worship team, sa ating prayer minister, sa ating uh, exhorter, nag-exhort ng giving. Uh, God bless you. Sa ating word deliver, Pastor Harry. Of course, sa ating pong, uh, technical support, Brother John, sa walang sawang pag-a-arrange itong ating online worship. Pagpalain kayong lahat ng Panginoong Diyos. Okay, uh, itong ating new norm na nararanasan na tayo ay nasa mga bahay-bahay na sumasamba. Sabi nga po natin, sambahay ay ito po ay ginawa na ng Panginoon sa New Testament. Sa bawat tahanan sila nagwo-worship. Okay, kaya lang high-tech lang tayo, may camera, pinagsama-sama tayo. But you know, ito po ay isa sa uh, patunay na ang Diyos natin ay hindi po limitado sa anumang sitwasyon natin. God can turn everything for our good. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Kaya sama po kayo na roon. Okay, dyan po sa uh, Paranaque. Magandang magandang umaga sa inyo sa lahat ng mga taga Paranaque. Okay, sa lahat ng mga taga Pasay. Uh, Las Piñas. Okay, sa Cavite. Dyan po sa GMA. Das Marinas. Uh, dyan po sa May Imus. Bacoor. Okay. At dito po sa atin sa Quezon City, Valenzuela, dyan sa may Bulacan, binabati ko po kayong lahat dyan sa may Santa Maria at dyan po sa may, uh, may Kawayan at lalong lalo na po sa pinaka malayo-layo nating uh, mga kapatiran dyan po sa Tawi-Tawi, Mindanao. Okay. At binabati ko po kayong lahat ng uh, maligaya at mapagpalang uh, linggo ng araw ng Panginoon. At maging sa mga kapatid natin sa Hong Kong, sa Japan, okay, sa uh, saan pa ba? Sa USA, amen, sa Europe, Romania, Monaco, lahat po ng mga aabuti ng ating worship service, okay? Nawa po kahit sa anumang pong oras tayo, okay? Uh, dumalo sa ating online worship still ang pagpapala ng Panginoon ay ating uh, tinanggap sa kanyang kapangyarihan Amen? Tandaan po natin we are crossing over to the nations of the world Amen? Sabihin nga po natin yon. we are crossing over to the nations of the world Hallelujah! Amen! Tandaan po natin all glory belongs to the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah.
Si 